So normally when I start these videos, I'm telling you guys that after waiting all day long, the update has finally released, but um, I got impatient and we're in the test server. So yes, as I'm recording this video right now, we are still actively waiting until the update drops, but it's been available in the test server for hours now. And if you have a link to the test server, then technically you've been able to play it now for pretty much, like I said, hours. As I'm recording this, there is about 1,300 players on the game. Earlier today, there was up to 2,000 players players in the test server but i'm going to break everything down as quick as i can at least what's available right now in the test server some of this stuff is subject to change by the time that it goes live and of course if you want to check it out for yourself the link will be at the very top of the comments but let's start off with the most uh, obvious thing here being the brand new ether blade like i predicted in my last update video it looks like moving forward we will be getting a single as well as a dual version of every single one of the limited swords now here's what's interesting and i'm not honestly sure even though technically Technically, I am one of the testers, but apparently there is also a green version of this sword and only some people can see it. I could be completely wrong and maybe we'll be able to see it when the update does finally go live, but I've pretty much searched around everywhere and I don't really see it anywhere. Now again, because this is the test server, I don't have access to these brand new swords. And why does it say upgrade? Oh, because it counts the dual version as an upgrade. Oh, okay. But none of that matters because we do have access to the brand new important stuff. Starting with the brand new ability called Pulse. This one is pretty straightforward and it looks like it's going to be the brand new counter to infinity and potentially force field as well as obviously a couple of other ones like telekinesis, shadow step, invisibility, you get the idea. But it says release a pulse which disables using abilities for a short time. Upgrades are over here. First one is going to go ahead and increase the time of the disabled abilities inside of the game. And then the second one is also going to do the same thing, just bump it up to longer. In a second, we'll go ahead and jump in game and I'll show you what this looks like. But before we do that, there is another pretty major thing that was added in with this update. If we come over here to server selection, you will notice that there is now a new mode called duels. This right here is an absolute game changer and something that I've been having a lot of fun with. But let's jump into a game really quick and show you what Pulse does. So as I'm sure you expected, it's pretty straightforward. You go ahead, jump into a game, activate your ability, which will send out a Pulse to everyone around and does not allow them to use their abilities for, I think it's like 15 seconds or so, something like that. And then for the most part, it has a fairly long cooldown on it, but I mean, it's understandable. What just happened? Did somebody just hack and teleport onto me? There's literally someone standing outside of the map over there. So right there, we have it activated it again i can go ahead pop it one more time disables everyone's abilities so if anybody was depending on infinity it's a done deal for them look at this guy teleporting onto me what is this bro i don't even know what's happening right now bro this guy in his hacky get off me bro Honestly, I feel like Pulse is a really good ability when you take into consideration using it inside of like duels. Which as soon as we get this win, we're gonna head on over there because this guy hacking onto me is uh, super annoying. All right, let's uh, let's head on over to duels. So here we go. We have arrived to the duel section. This is honestly going to be where I spend a lot of my free time. So if you're looking for me inside of any public servers, find me in here. I am currently sitting at 14 wins, three losses. Inside of here, there is a completely different win and loss system, as well as a completely separate leaderboard. Now, some of you are gonna be like, well, how is this any different than ranked or than just being inside of a private server? And honestly, I just don't think a lot of people understand how major this system is gonna be because now, clans, guilds, groups, cliques, whatever it is that you wanna call them are gonna become extremely popular. Over here to the left side, you have four sections where people can 1v1. Over here, you have 2v2s. Down there, you have 4v4s. It's gonna be insane, dude. By the way, why is this like crowd of people? Like, what is going on right now, dude? 
Yo, anyways, my favorite thing to do here is obviously the 1v1. I have no idea why this guy is 19 and 0. Oh, 19 and 3. This is going to be a good game, actually. We might have to focus up here for a second. So I'm actually going to switch over to dash. I don't know why I really like using dash here. Oh, he's using force field. No. Okay. Force field is definitely a little concerning, but if it becomes too much of a hassle, then we'll just go ahead and swap over to maybe infinity or something. Maybe even pulse, actually. This might be the moment to use it. Let's give him a second to see if he uses force field again, and I will put on pulse next time. So yeah, basically it's first one to three wins. So right now we're two zero, and for the most part, it's going really good right now. Can we go for the final one here? Let's see. I have a feeling that he's going extremely easy on me because there's just no way this guy is 19 and 3. That's hmm, that's interesting. I think he was honestly not even trying there. But anyways, we got ourselves a win. We can either initiate a rematch or press exit. In my case, I'm going to exit out. And then if you notice over here, it updates 15 wins, three losses. Then I just go back, jump on here and queue up with somebody else. It also shows here on the screen their win loss ratio, the percentage. I have an 83% chance of usually winning as this guy has a 50%. What's going on here? Oh, it was bugged. So now we're going up against somebody that is 3-3. Three, three. This guy is such a good sport. He said, good luck and have fun. That's what I like to hear. I don't know, man, these 1v1s, I'm enjoying it. I feel like I perform a lot better in 1v1s than when I do rank. If we win this one, it will be completely over and we will be, I think, 16 and 3. Let's go. <laughs> GG, man. That was definitely a good game. So there we go. 16 and 3 so far, man. I feel like this is the best addition to the game that they've done in a very, very long time. Now, there is a couple of other things that I have not shown you guys, like more quality of life changes. But if we head on over to ranked inside of here, you will see that now when you click on the bottom left hand side here where it shows your rank, it actually shows you the reward that you're going to receive for the next rank. And then underneath that, you will have free for all as well as duo. So you can see your progress as well as the reward that you're going to get for that specific, I guess, mode that you're trying. Now, teleporting back over here to the public server, there is now a brand new mode in the game. This one's going to be a little bit harder for me to show you guys because I have to kind of get everyone to vote for it. But basically, now when you're voting on the top, instead of it just saying normal 2v2 and 4v4, there's a chance that you might get one that says randomize. Right there. That one right there. We're going to go ahead and vote for that. Hopefully, we get more votes. Please, one more person vote for randomizer please oh dude it was a tie what is it gonna choose anyways if it does end up being randomizer the way that it works is very simple every single time that somebody dies your ability changes so unfortunately we didn't get it here but basically every single time that somebody will be taken out you're gonna get a completely random ability whether you have it unlocked or you don't it just automatically switches now i know i'm gonna say this for the third time but i know that there's still gonna be that person that asks but do not get it confused the ability does not change when you die the ability changes when the other players die obviously it wouldn't make sense if it changes when you die because you'd be out of the game And off. This is getting kind of intense.
GG. That was definitely a lot of fun. What? All right, so hopefully we go ahead and get randomizer this game. I spoke to them in chat. They're super cool and they're gonna vote for randomizer. So let's see if we're able to get it. Maybe everybody else out votes. I actually asked them and they said that it was cool, but you know, not everybody said they were gonna be voting for it. So I think we got it there. Yes, starting randomizer game mode and I forgot to press AFK. Oh my God, oh my God, it's fine, it's fine though. <laughs> Bro, all of us that voted literally had AFK on. <laughs> Dude, yeah, I definitely expected something dumb like that out of me, but like everybody doing it at the same time is hilarious. Please, please tell me that it's going to pop up. It didn't. That's fine. We're going to try again. All right, we got it. We got the vote from pretty much almost everyone. Let's do it. Come on. All right, so here we are. I have the dash ability right now. Someone is bound to die in uh, any second. There it is. So now I have telekinesis. Then someone else goes down. I have thunder dash. And now I have shadow step or whatever this is. I don't even know what they are anymore. In the beginning, it starts to go by really, really fast. Oh, dude, we got freeze. Hold on. It gets pretty hectic at the start, but once obviously all of the starting people start getting taken out, it slows down and it makes for a really interesting game because you really don't know what you're going to end up with. Oh, dude, it's been so long since I used swap. Well, I'm obviously not going to be using it now. Hey, yo, that was a crazy... Wait, did he get saved? Oh, he did. He fell. <laughs> oh. Dude, the super jump saved me there. All right, please. Somebody go down. There we go. No, I ended up with the same thing. Well, I'm not going to lie. At least having this four jump kind of uh, makes it easier for me to go up against him with the dash. It's a good mm -hmm. counter. Okay. <laughs> Just kidding. So yeah, basically that is the randomizer. It was pretty hectic, I'm not gonna lie. I felt like I was casting a football game there. Now, obviously once this update goes ahead and drops, I will make a follow-up video because I'm gonna purchase the brand new skins. Don't worry about it, we'll do a dedicated video. I just don't see the point on me dropping 8,000 Robux to get both of them dual inside of a test server and me not even be able to use them. But hopefully you guys went ahead and enjoyed the video. If you did, make sure to drop a like, subscribe to the channel so you do not miss any of my future content. And huge shout out to every single person in the server right now. I'm gonna actually open up the leaderboards here on the right. Everybody in here was super cool and extremely good at the game, which made this even more entertaining, dude. I'm gonna go ahead and end off the video right there. Like always, I will see you guys in the next one. Take care.